Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Modal Context Protocol, MCP. I hope you have heard this in different places. I will explain you in simple terms what MCP is all about and point you to some of the really good documentations that you can take help from and also show you one example from the cloud desktop how easy it is to implement let's get started this is the official announcement from anthropic anthropic introduced the concept of model context protocol and you can see it was introduced 25 november 2024 but after some time it was hyped or let's say in a way that it was all over the place not at that time but later people start getting into it and say okay this is a really good new thing in the llm space right what it is all about as it is mentioned here also i will not go through each and every line here but you get the point here that it is a new standard for connecting ai assistance to the system where data lives including content repository business tools and development environment right just to give you a context here I have created video also before and other different places there are documentations llms generate the tokens right they are trained on vast amount of data but it is trained until some time in the past so it will not have the real time informations or let's say it doesn't have the informations apart from what it is trained on right so for that you can enhance the llm by providing access to tools so that was already before right now this mcp is the enhancement of that just to put it in a simple way it helps connect to different tools that's it in simple terms connecting for llms to different tools and it helps make life easier for us to implement that that's it but before going into it you can just go here and read this right there are different things and the way that they provided is really good you can do from the cloud desktop apps there is some sdks and there is also the open source repository for the mcp servers now there is a servers right to understand that i want to show you one diagram here this will help you understand what it is all about right this is modal context protocol so what is modal you know the llms right ai model just to understand it can be text images video and different models from cloud openai gemini and so on so this is the model part right and what is the context i just mentioned before briefly that most important for any llm is to provide context better context better output from the llm right there might be one two or three issues you are trying to solve and it can be one mcp server to solve that issue to solve for the servers we need to provide the context there are different context types you can provide one is the tools that we have been already doing into it right but there are other things in hand you can provide resources video files csv files to provide context to the llm and the next one is called sampling and this is really good way to say or to query other model you are building a tool on the server that needs an llm for sentiment analysis right normally the server would call the open ai's api with sampling the server asks the client can you run this query for me there is a server a client and protocol and all different things right until now we know that this is the context and the protocol is a standard protocol right? set of rules that you need to follow that's it model context protocol i hope you understand now there is a model you provide context for the llms and there is a certain set of rules that we need to follow and that is what the mcp is all about i have some resources in this github repository so this is a mcp announcement from cloud and this is cloud for desktop there are blog posts to get started mcp is documentation provided by anthropic from the very beginning you can see there are different sdks and so on and if i scroll a little bit down i think this architecture uh, will explain you uh, a little bit more that okay there is a host right this is the concept of mcp now this is the architecture right for you to get understand or maybe the easiest if this image does not seems too uh, good for you there is a really good article from nora which explains what is mcp and how it simplifies ai integrations compared to apis right this image will explain better for you this is the host which had the clients in it host it can be cloud desktop it can be cursor it can be other different things right and now the host has the client this is the client that needs to talk to the server right the server can be anything 
as I said you before also. It can be connecting to Slack, email, calendars. It can be a local data source. It can be remote data sources and so on, right? And to connect, there should be some protocol that is called the MCP protocol, right? So this is the host. This is the client. This is the servers. And if you want to know more also, here is the thing like before or now. Now also, there is a traditional API thing here. There are different APIs and requ it requires different authentications and integrations. MCP tries to solve that. That's on the high, high note. But then here is also some of the things what what MCP solves, what uh, API does or uh, which one to use. I, I just recommend you to go to this blog post also to understand and there is really well written documentations like what is the benefits of implementing simplified development, flexibility, real time responsiveness and all the different things. And when should you use and then uh, there is also this stick with the granular APIs when you need fine grained control. This article is really good. I highly recommend you go through this if you need more but if you don't need to know more then i think high level you get already the point just to show you one example i have also this diagram or let's say flow chart to explain more mcp introduction right traditional apis have rigid contracts if the api configuration changes you need to also change in your code right but what happens with the mcp mcp allows dynamic capability exchange and resources i just mentioned you self documenting tools with type hints and doc strings it reduces the need for external documentation the documentation is in the uh, function or whatever uh, you write it right so no two different places just to go for documentations and so on but if you need some additional tools you can give from the resources right mm -hmm. and this is the supports bi-directional communication because in the api traditional api you just call and you get the response that is but in this case there is a bi-directional communication just think as a, as if it is a web socket where there is this open connection going on right support sending prompts and resource files right everybody writes the prompt but for llms to work better the prompts needs to be better right so it supports sending prompts and the resource files server can request clients to perform the task that is what i said about the samplings before right this it is also here clients use llms to fulfill server request human in the loop ensures safety and approval this is really important because if the server is requesting something there is always the human in the loop that you need to approve before the task has been done for you this is important because when talking to servers, you need to be careful about the security. You cannot use any MCB servers which might have some kind of some kind of attacks in it, which they can just um, do some kind of malicious things in your code. So you need to be always careful in using it. And there is this human in the loop also there, which helps you to mitigate that risk. Right. So this is all about MCP. It's just as I said you before also enhanced version of talking or providing context to the LLMs but it's easy enough because you don't need to be managing different codes once the API side code is changed by the service provider you just need to write one code and it will connect flawlessly let's say in a way so yeah enough of the talking now let's see one simple example how we can take benefit of it and in the next video I will show you how you can do this in the VS code already you can have VS code integrated with multiple MCP servers but in this case let's go with the cloud uh, desktop right for the cloud desktop first you need to download the cloud desktop I have already downloaded cloud desktop this is the cloud AI download for Windows and Mac OS download it and once it is downloaded, I will show you. This is the cloud desktop opening here. It says happy Saturday, Sudarshan. This is the cloud desktop. You can just go here and say hello. And it is using 3.7 Sonnet under the hood, right? So hello, how can I help you? But this does not have the um, informations about my local computer. Let's say in a way that what files do I have in MCP folder? It does not know about my mcp4 i don't have access to your computer's file system now i want to provide access for that particular folder for the llm how to do it if i go to github and there is this mcp announcement and official github mcp servers i will go here and there are different servers you can see there are a bunch of servers here the example i'm providing is simple to get you started and understand that okay this is how you can give context to the llms right so I'm going to give the file thing and here is this file system, 
right? File system, you can see different tools. This is a file system MCP server, Node.js server implementing MCP for file system operations. Read, write files, create, list, delete, delete directories, move files, source files, get file, metadata. So these are all the features that this has. The server will only allow operations within directories specified via arguments. And this is the API under the hood. And you can see resources, this is the file, tools. Now it has different tools. With one MCP server, you can have multiple tools. That's good because you don't need to have different connections for different tools. You can see the read file is a tool, read multiple files is a tool. So how to integrate this? There are different ways. If you scroll a little bit down here, uses with Cloud Desktop, right? So this is Cloud stuff. You can use NPX or Docker and uses with VS Code also. I'll show that later in another video, how you can integrate that with VS Code also. But here, if you want to go with the Docker, you need to be having Docker installed. If you want to go with NPX, you need to be having NPX installed because the server is running locally in your computer, right? You are connecting to the server and the MCP protocol is there to follow the set of rules, right? This is all you need. You need to have NPX installed in your machine. You just copy this, right? And now I will go to the Cloud Desktop. And one thing many of you were also confused is where to add the, the, the thing. It's not in your settings in the app itself you need to go to the cloud and in the settings not in your personal account settings but in the app setting here is the setting and here you can see general these are all the different things you can do you need to go to the developer here and config this is the easiest way to navigate to the config file i will click config and here is the file i will double click it it will open in vs code for me here you can see the path now you know where it is right and now i will just paste the thing that is being copied there but just by pasting this it will not allow you to do things you need to provide your path this is the example being provided you can have many directories here but i will just remove this lower part and i will just provide the one i have now i will open my terminal right and here in the terminal i have uh, yt i have created a mcp folder so i will go to mcp you can see this is the mcp folder i don't have anything here i will take the path of this so you need to copy this path Control c go to your uh, editor Control v that's it you are saying okay i want to run this mcp servers file systems command is npx arguments this is the model context protocol service file system and this is the path that i want the llm to go into i don't want it to go through other file systems i will just save this right and close this because once you save you don't need to go i will close the terminal also and go here right so now if i go here you need to re reopen this because now it needs to know that there is some kind of tools being provided right so here you can see there is nothing here now it is just plus and style and so on but now i will close this i will just quit and open this again i will open the cloud now it knows that i'm giving it some additional tools so now it should be something appearing here let's see yeah now you can see there is this hammer sign which says 11 mcp tools available and this is a attached from mcp i will just click this now you can see available mcp tools all the tools that you now add will be appearing here now you can see this these are all the tools i showed you in the github now if i say it okay what files do i have in mcp folder right now it will know that it needs to go to the mcp folder but it will ask me you can see it says allowed directories file system there are different tools cloud would use an external integration you can say allow for this chat or allow once i will say allow for this chat that's it now it knows it needs to go through it and now it says now i will list and now you can see it is calling another tool it also needs me to be approved i say allow for this chat now you can see this is the path i have been providing let me try to use now it says directory tree allow for this one you can see it is using different tools based on what I was, it seems the MCP folder might be empty or I might need to look in a different location. Let me know. It says empty. Now I can say create me a file named MCP TXT and write hello old inside it. I will just provide that instruction. It will ask me because it doesn't have permission to write. Now it says 
write file. I will say allow for this chat. So now it is, you get the point, right? It is asking, we are providing the tools. Now it knows my local computer's file system, only the one I provided to it. And similarly, you can use all the different things. Okay, now it says great, I have already done this. Now if I go to the terminal again, I will go to the YT. I will go inside MCP, right? Before it was empty. Then you can see there is mcp.txt. TXT. And I said p.txt. Now you can see there is hello world inside it. That's all. I just want to show you one simple example here. In the next one, in the VS Code integration, I will show some additional things that you can do. But I hope you get the idea of what MCP is um, all about and how you can integrate MCP with Cloud Desktop. That's all I want to show you in this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.